In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your videos 10 times better with just a little sound design. So stay tuned. Hey there, welcome to the video. I'm Mark Brown from Editor's Keys. Now, if you're into video editing or film production, consider subscribing to the channel because that's what we're all about. Now, in this video, I'm gonna give you some sound design tips that are gonna help make your videos 10 times better, maybe even 100 times better. You know, I often think that sound is quite often forgotten about when we produce videos. I've done it and I'm sure you've done it too. You know, we do the microphone levels, we add a backing track and then upload it and, and kind of leave it there. But if you actually think about sound effects, ambient sounds and the soundtrack, all in one. This can make your videos really stand out. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a coffee video that we made, a short, simple video, just making a cup of coffee. And then we're gonna add in some transitions and sound design and show you how this can really pop. So let's get into it. Okay, so that looks pretty good and it's definitely usable. You could upload that and that would be fine. But let me show you now what it looks like with some little tweaks and some sound design added. So there you go, what did you think of that? Let me know in the comments section below. You know, it's really subtle, but it makes such a big difference. And now I'm gonna give you my top tips on how you can achieve this too. So the first tip is to find the right sound effects which match the visuals. So first off, you can record them yourself. However, I know that this can take a lot of time and effort. And even after doing that, it still might not fit as well as it could. But after that, don't forget to check the cam audio, the sort of audio that you've picked up during filming, because in some cases, that can work really well. And we've actually used the in-cam audio for some of the coffee video and in this travel video, because we couldn't find exactly what we needed. And we just laid it over the music and ambience. And you know what, it worked really well. However, if none of that works out for you, then check out some sites online. You can find free sound sites online like freesound.org. And another way of finding some free sounds is just to type it in on Google, you know, things like coffee machine sound effect, and then just have a look and some will provide you with links to use the sound for free. The problem with this method though, is that the free stuff online isn't really that good and you can spend hours and hours searching for the right stuff which then just ruins your workflow. And to be honest, it just wastes your time. The next option, if you do have a bit of a budget, is to check out websites like Artlist and Epidemic Sound. These sites can provide you with both music and sound effects, and you can use these for your videos. And there are thousands of options to choose from. If you're a YouTube filmmaker, you should definitely check out these two sites, and I'll put a link in the description below. Tip two is to get creative with your sound and shots. Look over your video and see what movement is in it. Look at what's in the shot and how you can use it to bring it to life. Begin to tell a story and create an atmosphere. Bring it to your viewer and make them feel connected. 
Tip three, when you're using sound effects, make sure you use them at the right level. You don't want them to overpower the rest of your video. These sound effects still need to be subtle. You don't want them to be distracting to the viewer as it will just throw them off and make them lose interest fast. You want to just add that extra little layer to make your video go from amateur to professional. So play around with the EQ and look into your audio effects panel. Premiere Pro provides everything you need to learn basic sound design. For example, we added a high pass filter to this section to really emphasize the throwing and the slow motion movements. So tip four is to get really creative with your sound effects. And what I mean by that is choose sound effects which are a little bit different. They don't have to exactly match the object or the movement within the scene. So for example, in this shot here, I've actually used a sound effect of a toy car pulling back that I found on Epidemic Sounds to kind of emphasize this movement. And you know what, it's still very subtle and works well with this shot. So you can use other sounds. It doesn't have to match exactly the movement or the object that you're filming. There we go. So I hope those tips have helped you. And don't get me wrong, that isn't an absolute blueprint of what you should do for every single video. But I just want to get you thinking more about using sound and sound effects for your future videos. You know, I've done it too. We've sometimes gone out, filmed a real nice B-roll sequence, put it together, and we've been so excited about the visuals that we've forgotten about the audio. And when you spend another 30 minutes to an hour adding ambient sounds, a soundtrack, swooshes for transitions, it really takes your videos to the next level. Now, if you want any uh, of those sound effects and those sound effects sites we talked about like Artlist and Epidemic, I'll put a link in the description below and there should also be a discount code in there for you too. But let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video and if you're gonna start using sound more in your next video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.